This is Galatians chapter 1, verse 6. I marvel that ye are so removed for him that come you into the grace of your house, child, unto another God, which is not another. But there are some of that, that but there be some that trouble you and will convert the gospel of your house, child. But though we are an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you, that that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. And we said before, so say now, I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you that ye have received, let him be a be accursed. I want to say all praise to the most high you have by Shimmy Al Shah by Shem Kakadash. Another honor to the apostle elders the great little star. Another respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the true God over the world worldwide. And basically the title of the lesson turned to the effect there's only one gospel. You know what I'm saying? One true gospel. You know what I'm saying? But there are many uh, you know, many false gospels out there. But another scripture tells us, you know what I'm saying, there's only one faith, one Lord, one baptism. You know, let me just get it real quick. Because you got uh you got a lot, lot of, uh, you know what I'm saying, you know, Christians out there have, have uh, uh, you know, teach, teach them uh, too many doctrines, you know what I'm saying? Because in, in their mind, they don't believe that, uh, uh, that there's, uh, you know what I'm saying, there's only one gospel out there. Because why, why among Christianity, you know, you have so many denominations. Yet they they trying to get um, on the good life, man. Get on us from teaching, you know, true doctrine or you have a lot of out shop. You know what I'm saying? Because there's only one true doctrine out there. But here it is, we got Christianity has been, you know, been around the globe for for years upon years, and yet the prophecy never come to pass. But when the true men of the Lord, you know, go out on the highway, byway of teaching and, and, and uh, prophesying about the downfall of Babylon great and among other prophecies, you start to see a lot of these prophecies come to pass, man. And these Christians don't have the answers for them. You know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a lot of division among, uh, among, among the Christians out here, man. You know what I'm saying? The scripture tells us you know, in Galatians chapter 4, we're going to go with a lot of verse 4, and it reads, There is one body and one spirit, and even as ye are called, is one hope of your call, and one faith, one Lord, one, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. It better make it very plain, man. There's only one true gospel, and that's the gospel of your house by sheep mouth shot. There is no other gospel, because we read in Galatians. If any man preaching the other gospel or angel preaching the other gospel or one, you you know, that based not the truth, he said, let them be a curse per se. Why? Because because they, they teach they come into you in a, in another name, in the name of another another Yahweh shot or another Yahweh or Shiv Yahweh shot, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me get another question because it tells us it says that uh, uh you know what I'm saying that there's going, to, there's going to be a rise of really false prophets from, uh, among you. There's going to be virgin gospels. You know what I'm saying? Because, because, they, because they, that they are. You know what I'm saying? And, and this is uh, Matthew chapter 24. We're going to go ahead and start at uh, verse uh, 3. It reads, And as he said, Upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be sign of our coming in in the uh, end of the world? Yeah, the disciples want to know uh that's your house shot. When when these things gonna happen? When it's gonna be a uh, sign of coming, it's gonna be the end of this age, man. The end of these house people age in the beginning of Jacob. And see how I said, he said, Hey, how shall I answer him said unto you, take ye that no man see you. How how can men see you by converting it to a scripture like the Christian? You know, they prefer they to the scriptures and, and, they, and, they, and they make it seem as though they, you know, you know, uh, they say God loves everybody. 
you to even come back and you're going to save everybody, everybody's going to have a little current change in the kingdom. But that's not the case, you know what I'm saying? That, that's a deceptive doctrine that, that, um, that's been taught in the Christian church that God loves everybody. And that Jesus is coming back and you're going to come back, you're going to make everything right. Everybody's going to be guided together, be singing through my eye, and everybody's going to be holding hands and all this other stuff. But that's not going to be the case at all, man. Because the Spirit tells us that your outside comes back as a concrete king. And you're going to come back and you're going to take down these other nations, but the Christians don't teach that. You know what I'm saying? They teach and they tell you that, that when, when Jesus comes back, everybody's going to be, everybody's gonna be uh, united, man. Everybody's going to be equal in the kingdom, but that's not going to be the case. Now, your outside only going to come back. He's going to want to say the elect of Israel. But, you know, the Christian church comes they tell you that your house got to come back, he's going to save everybody. You know, everybody's going to be saved. No, nobody is going to be left out. But guess what? You know, that's not going to be the case. He's going to save the elect of Israel. Everybody that's left here, especially in Babylon, the great, is going to be destroyed. You know, but let's just continue on. This is uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 5. And this is the point. It says, Many shall come in my name, saying, I am, if I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. And, and, and there's a lot of deception going on, especially one years ago. Man. You know, you got people coming in, and they, they claim that they have the truth, but then they say that they, they, they going off, man. You know, one for the example, you know, with the back of one with, uh, you know, the chief people and his uh, congregation, man. You know what I'm saying? They, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they in, that, in that carnality spirit. You know, they, they, and the brother, the only thing he did was try to correct them and tell them that it not why it not speaking for you, for you know, trying to build a, you know, build a school, you know, and things of that nature. Watch it up, because we in the time that uh, this place is going to be destroyed, man. You know, he pleads after chapter 3 tells us there's a time and place for everything. And right now, your house high, your house out, your house high, and that time frame of tearing down, not building up. They gonna be, they gonna get built up in the kingdom of heaven, man. But now we not in the time to trying to build a school. We are not in the time to trying to have all, you know, Israel come together, man. We trying to watch, you know, Israel has separate doctrines, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and Romans 9, 6 tells us that not all Israel that are of Israel, man. So you got to be careful because you got these, you got these, uh, uh, you got these, these, you know, these people coming from here. Thing. They saying that they come, they come from your house, child, which they're not. Because in the Old Testament, you know what I'm saying, you know, the prophet, you know, the false prophet, he killed for, uh, for trying to, uh, uh, make his report straight. Because you got a lot of false prophets that are doing that. You got, you got them doing that today, man. You know, especially among Christians, man. Because Christians will tell you, well, God told me this, and it, and it doesn't line up with the scripture. Because they they come yeah, you got Christians coming coming to you in the false name. They coming to your name of Jay Z, you know. And, and really, that's not a name anyway. His real name is Yahweh Hamashiach. But they coming to you in the name of Jay Z, and, and saying that Jay Z told me this, Jay Z told me that. Jay Z didn't tell you nothing. Because first of all, that's not the same name anyway. And second of all, you among the false deity, man. Because JC goes back, you know, you know, JC is that frame that goes back into uh, you know, what's that guy? What's that guy named uh, Yeah, Seth Ray uh Bulgaria or Bulgaria, whoever I am you pronounce the name. You know, that's that, that's what his name goes back to, man. You know, you want to correct me on there if I'm wrong about it. But also, he has a different name, but it kind of stuck in my mind right now. But, you know what I'm saying? Nothing's that though. They come in that name. They come in that name of JC. And, and, and really, that's a false name anyway. You know what I'm saying? That, and that name can, it, it has a strong grip among our people, man. You know what I'm saying? Every time you turn, every time, uh, every time you turn around, they, uh, you know what I'm saying? You got these Christians come in that name of JC. Are they trying to curse you in their name of JC when you tell them the truth about the gospel, man? Because 
Yeah, what? It's good to, you know, it's good to say anything to you. Tell me anything, you know, you come to you in any, any other gospel name that's been taught according to the scripture. He said, let them be a curse. You know what I'm saying? The true man Lord is going to come in one, one other gospel. Because we just read, you know, one, one uh, Lord, one faith, one baptism. If it's not only going to be one gospel, man. If you are in the truth, you're going to be teaching the same gospel. You're not going to be teaching out of your own building. You're not going to be teaching anything that's different, you know, from, from the scripture, man. You're always going to rely and depend on the scriptures to, 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 to back to back up what, you know, what, what's being said, man. You know, you're not going to lean on your own understanding because the scripture saying tells us that we should not lean to our own understanding. In, in all our ways of knowledge, you mean you shouldn't direct our path, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we're, not, we're not coming in our own name. We're coming in the name of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. And that's the true name of the Father and the Son, man. We're not coming in our own name. We're not coming in our own name. We're not coming in, 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 you know what I'm saying, in our own way, man. Because the scripture tells us that he didn't come, you know, trying to come uh, uh, any other way, you know, come, trying to come to the Father any other way, you know what I'm saying? The same as a thief and a robber. You only can go through your house, your house shop, man. You can't go through any other way. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? People, people trying to, you know, especially Christian, Christian, Christianity, man. They, they work the gospel. They trying to come in, you know, you know, come into the kingdom in any other way, man. But you know what? That's not going to work. You know, you know if you're trying to come in through any other way besides uh, your house shop, you know, you're a thief and a robber. And that's a lot of these Christians out there. They're coming to you, trying to come to you in, in, the, in the name of another false God, man. And, and, and guess what? The Christian and being exposed to what it is, man. How, how, they, you probably ask how you know, because I was in Christianity. You know, I was in Christianity for over 30 years, man. You know, and, 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 and they taught a lot of false doctrine there. And one particular time, I used to be a preacher. You know, but but you how about Shem Al Shah in October 2016, you know what I'm saying? He he shined the blood, he shined the blood God's blood to me. And you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I had my struggle with with that and, and you know, being a Christian because you know, being in truth, you know, it goes contrary to what I've been taught in Christianity over thirty years. And then and, and ever since, you know, around December, um, 2016, I have to even look back. Even, even when I so-called went back to the Christian church, uh, you know what I'm saying, and, and, I, and I ended up walking out, man, because it, it, it just, it, it, you know, it wasn't there, man. The spirit you have by Shema Al Shah wasn't there in those churches. Because Stephen said in Acts chapter 4 7, he doesn't wear the tip of paint with hands. And, and that would be Christian tell you, man. They tell you, oh, he's here in the building. But get what your house shop. But what the scripture tells us that he does not dwell in the temple way more hands. Guess who the temple the temple is Israel, man. You know, you black Latino Native American. You are the temple of Yah by Shem Al Shah. You know, made it the elect of Israel. But the Christians, they don't go into scriptures like that, man. They tell you that, that uh they believe that he's inside of a building. You know what I'm saying? He, he's inside a building, and, and they say, oh, your house shot is in this place, man. They don't say your house shot is in Jesus Christ. It's in the building, man. Which he's not in the building. So, yeah, because for y'all about to shoot house shot, you know what I'm saying? That's a true name. Does not deal, does not deal with the uh, temple made with hands, man. And besides, he's he, he, he not with Christianity. Because Christianity got all these different doctrines. You know what I'm saying? That's something that vocab alone refused to address, man. We come in here with with uh questions about why is, why is there so many denominations among Christianity. He's not gonna answer the question. You know what I'm saying? Because we just read to you we just read to you that it's only one one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. There's not a lot of different denominations. And, and you know what I'm saying? And there's enough scripture that comes to mind. See, we know this talking about Esau, Ethan, but, but uh, brother, uh, you, 
use uh, this as a point. You know what I'm saying? You know, they talk about it's on Eden right here. And this is uh, Matthew chapter 12. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start at uh, verse 25, but we know that. Uh, uh, it, you know, your house shall address me, cries the Pharisees, you know, when they call him Beelzebub, you know, which is the prince of the devil. But, you know, that's the point that, I, that, that needs to be made in the scripture. But, uh, you know, this is uh, Matthew chapter 12, verse 25. And your house shall do that, that thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom that divided against itself is brought into desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And this is one at verse 26. It said, And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How, how, how shall they escape the stand? But we know that's talking about uh, Esau, Ethan, man, because his, his kingdom is divided. But you can also use that in the format of these Christians, man. These Christians are so divided because you got, you got uh, hundreds of hundreds of different denominations, man. There's so many different denominations among Christianity that it's ridiculous, man, and, and, it, and it's very hard to even keep up with all the denominations. You know, you got Baptist, you got uh, Pentecost, you got non-denominational, you got apostolic, you know what I'm saying, you got Baptist, you know what I'm saying, like I say, you got Pentecost, you got Roman Catholic, you know, you got so on and so forth, man. You know what I'm saying Presbyterian, you got all these different denominations, man. Then, then when you ask ask them why why yeah, why they teach a different thing, but they claim that they believe in the same, you know, quote unquote God and Jesus Christ. You know why? Because because you have by Shem Al Shah, you know what I'm saying, he's not with these Christians, man, because they're not teaching them they're not teaching the truth. He, they teaching them in in, in the uh that Jesus in the false Messiah, man. Because they find they believe that they they believe that, that JC is gonna come back, he's gonna whisk away the Christians be uh before the, the tribulation even begin. So if that's the case then where where's J C at, man? You know, where's J C at? You know what I'm saying? We we're in the time of the uh, we're in the beginning stages of uh, Jacob Trump. So what J C has to J C to whisk away, you know, his belief. The scripture tells us in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, you know what I'm saying? You know, roughly start at verse 5, they, 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 you know, our faith don't turn to paradise, man. And we are in the beginning of the stage of Jacob's trouble. You know, you see that, you know, you got, here it is, you got stores and stuff thrown down, and, and, and you got a fire that's out of control over in California, and there was a, a fire that was over there in uh, Oregon. You know what I'm saying? You got these fires that are out of control. You got uh, these stores are closed down. You got COVID-19. You got the crash of the dollar. You got these devil pushing the vaccination. You got the mark of the beast is just around the corner, which is the RFID chip. You got all these prophecies that are coming to pass, and yet there's no JC who come back to rapture away the Christians, man. Show you that they show you that they doctrine they're false, man. You know what I'm saying? They they coming at you with another another uh another they coming at you with, with another false uh, deity, man. Or another, another false desire. You know, scripture said let him be a curse. But but you know what I'm saying? And then you got the vision among Christianity, man. And and and, and, the, and the vision is very heavy. You know. And then then you, the Christian does, does this as well, man. You know, it's vision money he like, man. We're gonna get another scripture real quick because they love to take away from the scripture, man. They love to add and take away from the scripture. This, this is uh, what what the Bible said when you do that. This is uh, Revelation chapter twenty-two and verse eighteen. Before I go into that, you know the scripture, is, you know, is specifically for the Israelites and not for the other nations. You know what I'm saying? But but you Christians, man, y'all don't have no understanding of the Bible. What y'all do, y'all add and y'all take away from the Bible. And, and things that you that you want to promote, you promote it, you know, using the scripture, but things that you don't want to hear, you act like they don't exist. You know what I'm saying? This is Revelation chapter 22, verse 18. 
It reads, for I testify to every man that heard the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, Yahweh shall add unto him the place that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, Yahweh shall take away his power out of the book of life and out of the holy city and in front of things which are written in this book. We, we know this talking about you saw Edom. That, that you know what I'm saying he added he took away you know the apostle the Bible man why because it would build them uh, too much information about Esau he was talking about a white man but, but we know that these Christians you know what I'm saying they add and they take away uh, 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 you know what I'm saying they, they, they add and take away out of the scriptures they, they add and they say that oh uh JC gonna come back, he's gonna grab the air by the way. What they say, where they say that in the scriptures, man? The word rapture is not even in the scriptures, man. So so when so when JC supposed to come back? Because you got these things, you got these prophecies going on in the earth, and, and there's no sign of JC coming back. So what are these Christians talking about, man? You know what I'm saying? What what are they talking about? You know what I'm saying? They they come back to with another gospel, man. That's not that's not that's not the same gospel according to the scripture, man. Because the same the, let, let me get another scripture, man. Because, because these Christians they, they, they love to uh, they 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 love to uh, uh believe that they gonna just be wisdom out of here. You know what I'm saying? And that's a big problem be quiet to tell you how because the Savior is not coming back until after the tribulation, which we can approve that. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. You know, this is for you wacky type Christians. You got to you, you got to come with an answer for this one. You know, which we know that you're not going to answer. You know, it reads immediately after the tribulation, not before you ain't going to have no pre rapture, none of that nonsense. This scripture said immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give a light, and the stars shall and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And they're talking about and, and they're talking about before, you know when when things when things get bad. And they're talking about before the nuclear destruction hit this place. You know what I'm saying? It, you know what I'm saying? The nuclear destruction is going to be the thing that's going to block out the sun, the sun and the moon, man, because the, the nuclear, uh, the nuclear missile is going to be shot over here, and it said, and it said after the tribulation, because the spirit said there's, there's, gonna, there's not going to be, a, you know, there's not, there's not going to be such a time that Jake was show. You know what I'm saying? No, they, no, no, nor shall they, they ever, ever, uh, ever shall be, you know, flocked for that. But let's just continue on with the scripture. This is verse 30, and it reads, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming with the tribes of heaven with power and great glory. And yeah, that's another thing. These Christians really believe that there's going to be a secret rapture, man. There's not going to be a secret rapture. You know what I'm saying? That's part of that. That, that, uh, they come at you with another doctrine, man. You know what I'm saying? Because after the tribulation, you know what I'm saying, before these nuclear missiles hit destroy their place, then, then your house shot is going to return along with the uh, jelly host, uh, uh, with the angels, man. And, and what they're going to do, they're not coming back to save everybody. They're going to come back and they're going to get the elect because the spirit goes on down the same. You know what I'm saying? He should send his angels to gather his elect. For the four winds, uh, for the four winds, one end of heaven to the other, you know, which the four winds is going to talk about the four corners of earth and who is he, who is he going to gather? He's only going to gather the elect, the elect of Israel. He's not coming back to get everybody, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and for you Christians out there that, that you believe that you're going to get secretly raptured up out of here, you're going to have a very hard time trying to Convince, convince, you know, you know the brothers that of uh, this scripture. And you got to explain this scripture right here. And this is Revelation 1 and 7. 
you know, and it reads, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they which also which pierce him, which talk about reincarnation, and all the kids of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, amen, amen, so be it. And, and, and the scripture said right here that he come with clouds, and the clouds are talking about the chariot. And, and it goes on saying, it said, every eye shall see him. It, that, that, that country Christian right there, that, that secret rapture doctrine, that he's going to come back and secretly whisk away everybody. He's not going to do that. How shall he come? When he come back, he said, every eye is going to see him. You know what I'm saying? Every eye is going to see how shall he return it back. You know what I'm saying? You know, because guess what? Let me get another scripture. You know what I'm saying? Because you y'all love coming with that, uh, you know, with your own doctrine, man. Because, because you Christians don't want to accept the fact of the matter that, that the doctrine is not for you, man. You don't have the truth and you don't have the answer, man. You have by Shem Al-Shah not dealing with you, bro. Well, he's not dealing with you Christians out there, man. Because you Christians really truly believe that 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 your house is gonna come back where well, Jesus Christ is gonna come back and you're gonna you gonna take out a secret rapture. You know what I'm saying? They really believe they put in the left behind movie that you just gonna be going on with your daily life and like a nut nut you know what I'm saying, going on with your normal day and then all of a sudden out of nowhere is everybody just gonna be disappearing. You know what I'm saying? That's not gonna be the case at all, man. Because your house shot is going to return. And, and your house shot said, when he come back on the earth, with, you know, since I'm broke the paraphrase, he said, when he come back, that, that, that fire is already going to be killed. Meaning that there's going to be hell on earth, man. And you, you're not going to, you're not going to just be a typical normal day like this. And, and, you know what I'm saying? Typical normal day. And then all of a sudden, everybody's just going to be disappearing. And, and, and people ain't gonna know what's going on. It, that's not gonna be the case at all, man. It's not. Why? Because you how about Shem Al Shah does things in decent, and he does things decent and in order, man. You know, according to the scripture, when your house shall return, everybody's gonna, everybody's gonna see him. Every eye's gonna see him. You know what I'm saying? And they will experience him, and all the uh, all the earth gonna mourn because of him, man. Because they gonna think that it's gonna be a damn early invasion, man. But if your house shall come back in the cherry, you're gonna come back and you're going to uh gather up the elect of Israel. And anybody else that's not of Israel, you know, they 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 they're going to uh you know what I'm saying, they they're they they're going to be uh you know what I'm saying, they're gonna be destroyed, man, especially in Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have some you're gonna have some people that's gonna be that's gonna be left out in the new clips of destruction. You know, but however those people that are left they you know what I'm saying, they're gonna they're gonna uh be rounded up and they're gonna be uh uh you know what I'm saying, they're gonna uh be in slavery. Well, you know, you wacky tacky Christians, y'all don't teach that, man. Y'all don't teach that. Y'all y'all think that everybody's gonna be equal in the kingdom. But the scriptures say and we we're gonna go ahead and get it, prove that there's gonna be slavery in the king. But 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 you are uh, but you are uh, Christians don't believe it, man. You know what I'm saying? The Christians don't believe that. You know, we're gonna we gonna uh get Isaiah we're gonna go straight to the point, Isaiah 14 2. And this is after this is after uh Yahweh shall return and he's gonna uh you know what I'm saying? You're going to guide the Atlanta of Israel. This is after uh, the new construction of, uh, you know, of Babylon the Great. And, and, and where is some of the other nations going to be destroyed, be destroyed by nuclear uh, fire, man? But we're going to go ahead and start at the top. This is Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. And it reads, For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel, and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined unto them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. He's talking about the Israelite foreigner, man. We see that goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They will be chosen. They will be. They will be drawn with the rest of Israel, man. You know those that were here in Babylon the Great. You know those that scattered to the four corners of the globe. But you know what I'm saying. That, we're gonna go ahead and get to the point. In Isaiah 14:2, this is the point. 
and say, and the people shall take them for them, the other, the heathen nations. You know what I'm saying? They're not of Israel. And bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of, of Yahweh for service and handmaid. That sounds like captivity to me. That's, yeah, it's going to be slavery in the kingdom. And it said, and they shall take them captive, who captive they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And here you go, man. You these Christians don't they don't go into that, man. And and they they would tell you that everybody's gonna be equal in the kingdom. But that such thing is not gonna exist, man. Here it is that you got Esau Edom has been ruling over us for five hundred plus years. We had no rights here, we had no equality here in this devil's kingdom. But but in, in the kingdom of hell, which which is gonna be ruled by the Israelites, now all of a sudden everybody's gonna be equal. That, that's not going to be the case at all, man. You know what I'm saying? Israel is going to be on top of the kingdom. And everybody else, everybody else that's not in Israel is going to be slaves, going to be slaves under the Israelites, man. You know, point blank period, the Christian church doesn't teach that. Because they're all good. They're all with you up and down and saying that there, there's going to be equality in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? If there's going to be equality in the kingdom, who's going to build, who's going to build up the kingdom? You know what I'm saying? And here it is, you got throughout history that even in the scripture, even in the scripture, the, the nation that the, the nation that the person that, that the conquered nation conquered, that nation that they conquered is the nation that they got put into slavery, man. That that they was they had to uh, pay tribute to them, man. But here it is throughout history. And when a nation get conquered, they, they, they go in slavery on the nation that conquered them. But in the kingdom of heaven, some way, somehow, everybody's going everybody's to be here. You know what I'm saying? That's not the case at all. But these Christians, they, they can't come up with an answer to the to the question, man. We ask them about slavery in the kingdom. They tell you it doesn't exist. But here it is. You got you got history proving that the nation that got conquered, they, they became slaves. They became slaves under the nation that conquered them and, and here it is the kingdom of heaven everybody's gonna be equal they need to get out of here with that nonsense man you know what i'm saying the, the same principle that applies there when esau took down israel we became slaves under the edomite just like we became slaves under babylonian babylonian and uh the me the, the, the bees and the persians and the greece and the roman captivity man we we became slaves under they, all these captivities, man. But, but here it is that the kids of hell, we're going to be ruling over these other nations. But, but the Christians, uh, you know, they're doing anything and everything to try to disprove other scriptures and, and say that uh, everybody's going to be equal. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's going to be equal in the king. Now, they saying it because they can't they can't fathom the fact of the amount of them we're going to be of these other nations, it's the scripture saying that we're going to be ruling over our presence, man. And, that, and that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? You probably like, what, what's all this got to do with what, what about, about teaching another gospel? You know what I'm saying? But that's part of teaching another gospel, man. Because I read to you Galatians, man, that any man, that any angel, or any person that teaching another gospel, that, that's not according to the scriptures. You know, let them be a curse, you know, I'm supposed to paraphrase. Because they come at you with another doctrine and they they and they, they fan it off at you, man. Which is not truth at all according to the scriptures. Because when, when you in the truth, you teach the same thing that the apostle and the elders of Great Millstone are teaching, man. You know, one one Lord, one faith, one baptism, we all be teaching the same thing. We're not going to be teaching different doctrines, man. Everybody's not going to be teaching their own doctrine. They're going to be teaching the same doctrine that's according to the scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why people are leaving these, 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 these Christian churches, man, because they see the writing on the wall, man. They see that, that this place is going to be destroyed, that they see that, that the mark of the beast is coming around the corner. They see... That, that they push the vaccination, they pushing these unrighteous decrees. And yet you got you ask these Christians all these questions about what's going on, what we're gonna do to uh, uh to how we're gonna uh 
for out of this, and these Christians can't come to you with no answer, man. They have no answer. Why? Because the spirit is not dealing with them because they teach different doctrines, man. And Yah Bashim Al Shah is not with that. And with that being said, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rukhakadash, double honor to the apostle and elders of Great Billstone. Another respect to the brother teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon. Yahweh willing. Shalom.